An empty stomach is not a good political advisor. I see my life in terms of music. I thought of that while riding my bicycle. It is harder to crack prejudice than an atom. At least once a day, allow yourself the freedom to think and dream for yourself. Force always attracts men of low morality. Before God we are all equally wise, and equally foolish. We experience ourselves our thoughts and feelings as something separate from the rest. A kind of optical delusion of consciousness. This delusion is a kind of prison for us, restricting us to our personal desires and to affection for a few persons nearest to us. If most of us are ashamed of shabby clothes and shoddy furniture let us be more ashamed of shabby ideas and shoddy philosophies. It would be a sad situation if the wrapper were better than the meat wrapped inside it. Great spirits have always encountered violent opposition from mediocre minds. The mediocre mind is incapable of understanding the man who refuses to bow blindly to conventional prejudices and chooses instead to express his opinions courageously and honestly. It seems to me that the idea of a personal God is an anthropological concept which I cannot take seriously. I also cannot imagine some will or goal outside the human sphere. Science has been charged with undermining morality, but the charge is unjust. A man's ethical behavior should be based effectually on sympathy, education, and social ties and needs. No religious basis is necessary. Man would indeed be in a poor way if he had to be restrained by fear of punishment and hope of reward after death. Solitude is painful when one is young, but delightful when one is more mature. Learning is experience. Everything else is just information. What really interests me is whether God had any choice in the creation of the world. The human spirit must prevail over technology. Everybody is a genius. But if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree it will live its whole life believing that it is stupid. Teaching should be such that what is offered is perceived as a valuable gift and not as hard duty. Never regard study as duty but as the enviable opportunity to learn to know the liberating influence of beauty in the realm of the spirit for your own personal joy and to the profit of the community to which your later work belongs. Imagination is more important than knowledge. No amount of experimentation can ever prove me right, a single experiment can prove me wrong. Nothing will benefit human health and increase the chances for survival of life on earth as much as the evolution to a vegetarian diet. A table, a chair, a bowl of fruit and a violin, what else does a man need to be happy? I don't try to imagine a personal God, 
it suffices to stand in awe at the structure of the world, insofar as it allows our inadequate senses to appreciate it. Excellence is doing a common thing in an uncommon way. Never do anything against conscience, even if the state demands it. How I wish that somewhere there existed an island for those who are wise and of good will. We are in the position of a little child entering a huge library, whose walls are covered to the ceiling with books in many different languages. The child knows that someone must have written those books. It does not know who or how. It does not understand that the languages in which they are written. The child notes a definite plan in the arrangement of the books, a mysterious order, which it does not comprehend but only dimly suspects. Out of clutter, find simplicity. From discord, find harmony. In the middle of difficulty lies opportunity. You see, wire telegraph is a kind of a very, very long cat. You pull his tail in New York and his head is meowing in Los Angeles. Do you understand this? And radio operates exactly the same way, you send signals here, they receive them there. The only difference is that there is no cat. It gives me great pleasure indeed to see the stubbornness of an incorrigible nonconformist warmly acclaimed. Now he has departed from this strange world a little ahead of me. That means nothing. People like us, who believe in physics, know that the distinction between past, present, and future is only a stubbornly persistent illusion.